Welcome to the Fantasy Football Profit Podcast, hosted by Craig Phillips and Jeff Torrey. Visit us at FantasyFootballProfit.com. And now your hosts, Craig and Jeff. Welcome everyone to the Fantasy Football Profit Podcast. I'm Craig Phillips, joined as always by Jeff Torrey, and today we're talking week nine start sick questions. We got a bunch of your questions on Instagram, a couple emails, uh, YouTube. We're going to go over all of those questions. Before we do that, though, make sure you guys go check us out on Twitter at the FF Profit or Instagram at Fantasy Football Profit. And to get our rankings, which we're starting to kind of build our ranks through this episode and see where we're going to put people, go to fantasyfootballprofit.com. We'll have our full ranks up on the website. So jump into week nine. I can't believe we started week nine. That's kind of crazy here. Um, it's uh, definitely going quickly like it always does right but got some questions i think we're starting to learn a little bit more i feel like we have better answers at this point of the year it should be straightforward but we'll see how easy this is for you first question is going to come in from sackers mvs or aj brown mvs probably yeah. it you know aj brown's a he's a he's a good player um I just, it's going to probably be close. Like AJ Brown's getting closer to MVS and ranks, but just, I don't like Tennessee overall yet. Tannehill's better than Mariota, but I'll still just, I'll just go with the guy who plays with Aaron Rodgers and hope I get a big touchdown. That's pretty much what you're shooting for there. One more question he asked is Sony Michelle or Austin Eckler. So we got Sony mm. Michelle. Let's see here. Going against what? Baltimore at Baltimore, I believe. And then Eckler, who's who? Who did the going against Green Bay? Going against Green Bay. Hmm, that's actually an interesting one there. Yeah, I'm not the biggest fan of Sony Michelle at Baltimore right now. I probably lean Eckler, hmm. but uh, I mean, obviously, there's dangers either way. I don't know. I, I like Eckler's upside with the with the being able to catch the ball. I, I feel like against that. That run defense, you know, Sony is a little bit of a one note player at the moment. Yeah. He doesn't really catch a whole lot. So I would probably lean Eckler. See, I I tend to try to lean Sony for some reason. And I just I think that's just my bias against pass catching backs. It's it's if you listen for the last couple of years, I always seem to lean that way. I, I don't I guess that's just from playing in standard leagues for most of my time. You know, I don't know if this is PPR, I guess I just I go Eckler. But I lean Sony for some reason. I just, I just kind of go in there. Um, man, I, I guess part of it is too. I just feel like at some point, Melvin Gordon's just going to get a really good look and get all the chances there. And I'm going to go Sony. It's close, but I'm going to go Sony. I'll just go. I'm going to go. I'm going to go with it there. All right. Next up, let's see here. Uh, Gardner Minshew or Josh Allen this week. So we got uh, Allen playing against Washington, Minshew against Houston. I probably go Allen. A little better matchup. I'm thinking I'll go with I'll go with Allen. But it's it's again close. Actually, yeah, I go Minshew. Really? We're, yeah. we're just not we're not going the same here. <laughs> no, but I mean they're very very close. They're um, close. I'm I'm going Allen though. I think uh, for that one I just go talent wise. I, I like the way Minshew has been playing in general almost all season. So Houston isn't scary enough to. Keep me away. I don't think that they're that special of a defense. So why not, you know, kind of ride the hot hand where Allen scares me. He's definitely he's, better. Yeah. He, he's better in fantasy. Like every time you look at his numbers, you're like, how in the world did he do that? Um, so that one's very close. Yeah. I'm, so, I'm going to, I'm still going to lean Allen. I just, I'm going to go that way. We're not, we're not helping anybody yet. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, next up, we got a uh, running back question Mark Walton or. Devin Singletary. Ooh. So let's see here. What do we even got going this week? Walton playing against the Jets. Okay. And then Singletary's playing against um, Washington. I'll go Singletary. Singletary. Yeah. Um, you know, he started to, he's shown signs and shown flashes. Or what's his yards per carry? It's still like ridiculous, isn't it? I'm Singletary? Here. Yeah. Yeah. I got to look that up. I'm just curious. He's still way up there at what? Um, 8.6 right now. <laughs> I mean, that's not a very, that's only on 20 carries. So I'd like to see him get a few more carries and see how that turns out. But I'll go Singletary with that one. All right. Next up. Let's see here. What do we got? Do, 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 do. Okay. Another, another Singletary in this deal. This is, oh, here we go. We'll pick two. It's going to be a flex. 
We'll go with a flex question here. So Devin Singletary, Austin Eckler, Adrian Peterson, DJ Moore. Eckler for sure are going to slot in there, right? That's, I think, pretty mm-hmm. pretty clear. This is actually makes it tough, though. So it's it's Peterson against Buffalo, or it's Singletary against Washington, or then it's uh, DJ Moore against um, Tennessee here. Man, that's a tough. I, say, I actually have to look at what DJ Moore has been. He's just okay doing of late. He's 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 okay. Yeah, yeah. That's um. I'm not leaning right now any one way. I'm I'm just not. I mean, I probably just go more. I don't trust Peterson. I don't trust Singletary enough yet. I might just go more and hope he does something. Yeah, I'm kind of not loving it, but I think I, I might. I'm I, kind of leaning that way, but I feel like Peterson, if he is, I mean, I don't even know where the injuries are in Washington, to be completely honest. Otherwise, I mean, if he was the only guy back in the backfield, I'd probably put Peterson just because I think he's a little safer. But if anyone else is thinking about playing, I would go DJ Moore. Yeah, I, I don't love this. I don't love this pick, but I think I'll, I'll go with it. All right, uh, Devin Singletary. This is from Brad. Devin Singletary. A lot of Devin Singletary. Or David Montgomery. I'll go David Montgomery. Um, even though he's playing, I think it, he's playing at Philly. But it's still. You know. yeah, coming off the big game, I would assume that he's going to get more carries than Singletary. Yep. From Johnny, we got four running backs here. Got to pick three of these four running backs. James White, Austin Eckler, David Montgomery, Josh Jacobs. So I would uh, put Jacobs in for sure. Yeah. Probably Eckler and yep. probably Montgomery. I think I leave out White. I would too. Um. Yeah. That's yeah. I'll go with that one. All right. We have Toby, Derrick Henry, or Tevin Coleman. Ooh. This is actually interesting. Coleman's been really good. He's playing against Arizona. Henry's playing against Carolina. I'd go Coleman. Man. It, okay. You know what? And this is what this is on Thursday night. Brita's hurt, so Brita's hurt right now. Mostert didn't even practice today. Jeff Wilson didn't practice today. Yeah, let's go Coleman. Let's go Coleman. This could yeah. be could be a good uh, could be a really good game for him. And and really, you look at the last four games for Tevin Coleman, and you know after the bye. Um, 11, which was last game, was his lowest amount of carries that he got, and that was his biggest one. And three out of the four games, he scored at least one touchdown. So I feel like uh, Derrick Henry's upside is what he's doing on the regular at the moment. All right, we got a question from Josh. Now, this one, I actually don't know where I'm leaning yet. (laughs) He needs – this is a running back pickup question, so we'll get to this here. He needs – who's the better pickup? Jalen Samuels. Mark Walton, Raheem Mostert, Ty Johnson. So how would we rank these guys this week? Basically is how this comes down to. And it's, it's just, we don't just know. Just for one week? Just it Basically, just who's a better pickup? Don't know. So I'm going to try to rank it as this week. Okay, well, let's, let's do it both ways. Okay. I don't know. <laughs> both yeah. ways. This is, this is riding so much on like James Conner right now. And if he has a true injury, he does have an injury. It's that AC right. joint. I- um I think if you're going for one week, this is how I would do it. I would say that Jalen, Jalen Samuel yep. would be number one. I would put Mostert number two. And then who are the Walton? And Walton and Ty Johnson. Yeah, I'd probably go Walton and then Ty Johnson. But I almost think for future, you know Mark Walton's going to get carries. So this is like a future p- play. Mark Walton's the one out of the four who you know has a role every week. I don't know these other guys do. I mean, I guess so. I, I guess Ty Johnson does too. He should have some kind of role, but even though that Trey Carson kind of played for some reason. I don't know. This is a, this is actually a tough one. Samuels, though, if, if Connor's out, that's a great play. And um, man, this that's actually tough. But they're actually, I think I still think Walton's the better overall play for the future. Hopefully, maybe like for the rest of the season future. Yeah, I don't know. I have a hard time with that because I think he's okay. I he think has he, been so bad. I mean, I don't the, think he's been so bad. I'm sorry. The uh, team has been the so team bad. Has. Oh yeah, for sure. He has been okay, but he hasn't shown me that he is going to be. Some sort of dynamic player. Yeah, I, I guess. Mean, Mixon couldn't even get it going. True. You know I mean? All right. Let's see here. Guarna. Go to, go, go to question from Garna. Guarna. Why did I say his name wrong? I've said his name a million times. <laughs> Half PPR 
flex. Jalen Samuels. How many do you pick? He picks one here. Jalen Samuels, Mike Williams, Jamison Crowder, Jamal Williams, Danny Amendola. So this is this could go a million ways. Jalen Samuels, if Connor's out, I think that's clear to me. Mm -hmm. If Connor is out, go Jalen Samuels. I kind of like Jamal Williams because he's been getting work, but he's still the backup. Danny Amendola has been getting a lot of catches though, especially in a half PPR. Man, this is it's a tough one, Guarda. I don't know what to do here. I mean, it's pretty clear. Jalen Samuels, if Connor's out, I think that's I think that's clear. If we then it's not a question. If there's no Jalen, if Connor's playing, we don't have the Jalen Samuels option. We have to give him that one. What would you go with? Mike Williams, Jamison Crowder, Jamal Williams, Danny Amendola. Honestly, I almost feel like I throw play Jamal Williams and hope for another touchdown. He's been getting a lot of work. And it's not even just like him sp- just coming in for Aaron Jones. He's been getting a lot of work while Aaron Jones is on the field. Jones has been lining up a receiver every once in a while. Jamal Williams in the backfield. They've both been playing at the same time. I might go with that. I, I, I'm interested in Danny Amendola, though, after a couple of good games, but I'm not there yet. I think Williams can get himself a touchdown. Yeah, I lean that way, too. I I hate going that way because right? of, you know, the obvious downside. But, I mean, I can't fight what he has been able to do in the last three games. Chargers haven't really shown that they can stop a whole lot of people or do anything too special. So why wouldn't that continue? He's had, what, a touchdown for at least three games in a row? Yeah. Is that? Yeah. Well, I'll just take that chance. I would, too. I'd probably go that way. All right. Who would you go with here? Pick a wide receiver. Cortland Sutton playing against Cleveland or Michael Gallup against the Giants. Uh, So Sutton's playing with a brand new quarterback in Brandon Allen, who Uh, we literally know nothing about. Right. right. Otherwise, this would be a no brainer. It It would be be Sutton. Sutton. I think I go Gallup because I don't have a clue what Brandon Allen is. He could be good. Very well might be good and actually a a step up from Flacco. But I've never I've never seen the guy play. I can't recommend anything about him right now. Yeah, I would go Gallup as well. And uh, the big reason for me as well, I know that this is not the same New York team, but week one, he torched them. Absolutely yep. torched them. Seven for 158. Yep. So you know that he has a pretty good chance. Noah, flex question here from Noah. Corey Davis, Sammy Watkins. <laughs> Disappointments. It's all, yeah, all my favorite people. Or Devin Singletary. PPR. Ah. <laughs> I, is Watkins? Uh. <laughs> See, Watkins is going to play, but he, Matt Moore. I mean, honestly, I go Singletary. Yeah, I'm going to go Singletary. <laughs> this is this, uh, this, this is not great because because it's Watk. I mean, Watkins and Davis are just they could get you zero. They really truly. Oh no! Could. I mean, I, I'm not Singletary throw. probably could too though. So oh, he could. Well, my problem is this. I am. I want to pick Singletary, but I'm also basing this heavily on the fact that I think that he's going to be gaining carries and gaining, you know, ground on Gore. If that's not the case (laughs) and he doesn't have one of his big plays, he is going to get you next to nothing. Yep. But I would lean that way. And that is a little bit of a hunch. All right. Next question coming from Rob. Would you play Jameis Winston or Kyler Murray? So Jameis playing against Seattle. Kyler's playing against San Francisco. Hold on. Who's playing against San Fran? Kyler. Then so go, you the go, the, exactly. go the other way. Go the other way. Yeah, you go. Run the, away from that. Like, and Jameis, you know what? Jameis is having, he's, he's interesting. He might get you, you know, four touchdowns. He might, and he might, you know, get four picks as well in the same game. You know, you never know which way Jameis is going to go. He's all, he's all over the board. And really, he's only had one bad game in the past five. He himself as a quarterback not great. Him as a fancy quarterback, <laughs> you're just fine. Uh, here we go. Need two players. So I believe this is Jonu, Jonu Smith, Zach Paschal, Sterling Shepard, Nelson Aguilar. You need two of those guys. Well, I don't, I'm not, is Sterling Shepard playing for sure? <laughs> I don't know. He's been hurt for so long. I feel like if Sterling Shepard plays, I play him. I just don't know if he's actually going to play. Yeah, if he plays, I think he is a, a shoe in. But if not, let's just say he's not playing. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I was gonna say he isn't. So like he is Pascal, Jonu Smith, Aguilar. Jeez, jeez, I probably go Jonu Smith as my one is one of them. 
I I might go in. Aguilar's playing against Chicago. Pasco's playing against Pittsburgh. I don't like this at all. I don't like any of these choices. Okay. If I did, I'll go. I'll go Smith and Aguilar. It's called that. <laughs> what it. I'm serious. What has Aguilar been up to? <laughs> like, I don't even know. He's just, he's just like, Aguilar. If I'm being quite honest, uh, he has not created any sort of buzz this year whatsoever. I'd go look on your waiver wire, and if like, Anthony Miller's out there, I'd go. I'd rather play Anthony Miller. You know, yeah, I'd rather like play they're... Darius Slayton. I'd rather play Demarius Thomas probably against Miami. That's a guy who's probably on the wa- waiver wire. Yeah, I'd probably. I'd rather play Demarius Thomas this week. I'd rather play Chris Conley from Jacksonville. But if you don't have those choices. I guess go Jonah Smith and Aguilar for me. <laughs> yeah. Not but, loving it, but. Yeah, I would do the same, I guess. All right. PPR, flex spot, David Montgomery or Cole Beasley. I'll go I'll go Montgomery. Yeah, I'd go Montgomery. Beasley's been okay, but, um, you know, not, not enough to beat out uh, David Montgomery. All right. So let's see here. We've got some more questions. Uh, Jamal Williams or Christian Kirk? I'll go Kirk. Kirk. Yeah, yeah, Kirk. I, I think that's the way to go. PPR flex. Sony Michelle, John Brown, or Tyrell Williams. I'll go Sony. I'll go Sony. I'm going Sony. Sony Michelle. Sony with the the tough matchup. Yeah, I'll still go Sony. You said and John Brown and who was the other guy? Tyrell Williams. Oh man, that is as close as it can be. I might. Do I trust Tywell Williams to get another touchdown in a row? He's scored what one in every game. I might go. Uh, nah, I guess I would go Sony. Go Sony. Yeah, I I would. I I think it's a little safer. It, it, it is safer. I don't know what the other guys are going to do. No, yeah, it's I don't either. I, I'd slightly safer. feel like I would be giving bad advice if I told you to go somewhere else. All right, let's see what else we got. Might have a couple more here. Not many. Um, I feel like I'm, I might, that might be it here. Oh, here's a quick question. <laughs> uh, this isn't really a question. This is asking for help. So Michael Thomas and Julio are out for me. I have Terry McLaurin and don't know what other receiver to get. Please help. <laughs> Um, I don't really know there. I, I have, uh, I don't know how to help you there. Depends on the league size, but some of those names we were mentioning earlier that are probably in out there in a lot of leagues. Like, I don't know. Anthony Miller has been interesting lately. Preston Williams from Miami. Go, th- I mean, put him in a lineup, I guess. AJ Brown, like we said earlier, pretty much, you know what? Get about five or six names, put them in a hat <laughs> and pick the best one. I mean, right. Like I, I don't really truly know. No, um, I mean, let's be honest. We we just went over the waivers. I, I think those are the right. Those are the guys yeah, that you're yeah, going to be yeah. able to go after. Yep. I, you know, without telling you what to trade and everything like that. Yep. I think band aid wise, in order to get through the week, I think Craig has a very good point with Danny Amendola. Da- Amendola, ca- Amendola is the one if he's out right. there. Eight catches for the last yeah. two games apiece. That's great. Uh, McCole Hardman hasn't gone away. He'd be an okay fill in. Philip Dorsett, um, as you know, Sanu is kind of trending up to get more carries. He's on the field a lot, so he would be okay. He hasn't broken out mm-hmm. or anything, but he would be an okay get as well. Yep. Well, all right. I think that's all the questions I got for today. We'll be back tomorrow. We'll have a lot of trade questions tomorrow and go over our point spread picks again for week nine. But that'll do it for today. We'll talk to you guys next time.